Big Bob Cody Fiddle, I'll tell you that now. It's time to make a trip to visit with noted fiddle and violin maker Bob Cogut. As with many creative people, Bob is certainly unique. Among other things, he likes to give his creations female names that end with the letter A. Bob is admired and respected by many, and I think we're about to find out why. Hey, Bob, how are Welcome you? Welcome to my filthy shop. Oh, well, I would expect <laughs> Welcome. there to be Glad shavings. You came. Come on in. Thank Make you. yourself to home. There's fiddle droppings all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. Well, Buster told me you were going to be. Oh, yeah. You're going to be a little dusty in here. He's the talking dog. He certainly is. Yeah. What you working on? The top of violins have to be joined in the center. Okay. It goes in two pieces. Right. And this, this is one that's. Um, already joined. This is actually spruce. The so, rest of the violin is curly maple. So so you've actually put the two boards together? Yeah. Okay. So they go together like that. All right. Furniture makers can get away with wood putty and filler if it's not a perfect joint because their uh, wood sometimes is a quarter inch, half inch thick. Right. By the time I'm finished carving this top, it'll be two millimeters. Okay. Plus it's arched this way and arched that way. And if there's any flaw, in the joint at all. It's gonna show up. It will show up and it will fail. It'll come open. Just so so you're using, I mean, this is old school, right? Yeah, this is all old technology. Right. Yeah. Nice. But it's the best. So all I have to do is, just like an x-ray, I look at the shavings and I see what the shaving looks like. Number one, it needs to be full length which it's kind of fizzled out at the end, so it's telling me it's not ready yet. I need a few more swipes. And there's this ragged edge here means right. it's not perfect there. So a few more swipes. Let me hand that yeah. to you. So you're huh? pulling the swipe off, so... And each time it should get closer and closer to full width, full thickness. This is just about ready to to go. What's amazing to me is you, you see the different <clears throat> textures, and so that's letting you know the characteristic of the wood, correct? Exactly. That's that's really good observation because uh, in the final stages of making the violin, deciding how right. thick to make the top, I'm already getting an idea, like you just said, of the nature of the wood, how dense it is, how light it is, how stiff it is, just by doing this and feeling the shavings, the curls, and I'm already thinking, this is a pretty dense piece of, um, of spruce, and I have a feeling I might have to make it a little thinner in the very end to make it sound good. Uh, Bob, you think I might have uh, the, the personality traits to, to give that a try? Yes, yeah, so I was just going to actually... And see if, uh, see if I can... Uh, I was just going to ask that. you to try it, and I'll show you. Uh, now, I'm left-handed. You're right-handed, correct? I am. Well, Bob, I'm incredibly excited about this because you're a master master <laughs> fiddle maker. Do you prefer fiddle or violin maker? Well, when I, when I make one, it's a... Fiddle, but when I sell it, it's a violin. <laughs> <laughs> no, either one is. Either, yeah, either, either, either. either way. Okay. All right. Well, let's dance with this girl and see what happens. All right. I mean, now, the first swipe, don't get discouraged. No. It's not going to happen. So it's going to take a few to get okay. used to it. All right. Okay. And go fast. Oh, that's sounding good. <laughs> Did, you Did you hear it? Did you hear it? I heard it. I felt now look it. at your curl. Now, look, at, look, this look at is, it. This is the big, this is look the tail, right? Oh, this I'm jealous. Oh, look at that. <gasps> look at you. Bob, look at that. Wow. Should now, I? we didn't, wait a minute. We didn't sneak that curl in with the camera off. No, of course not. That was his real curl. Look at that. It's perfect. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. It's perfect. Perfect. Look, end to end. Stretch it out. Pretty Your good. Your first now, time. Right? Oh, you oh. got the you got the hands, Carl. Oh. You got the skill. Perfect. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Senorita perfecta. <laughs> <laughs> Senorita. Senorita perfecta. That could be a name. It could be a name. Okay. I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to jinx anything. So I'm going to let. <laughs> yeah, get out. Turn yeah. it back over to this you. This is my bench. Get That's out. great. <laughs> you know what's crazy? That it's was incredible. <laughs> 
It's almost like having another guy date your girlfriend. It's like, no. this is my this is my tool. I understand. I understand. I mean, I enjoy this, but it's like there's this kind of thing. It's like, get your hand off my stuff. <laughs> but, you know, there's something to that, right? Because I think, Bob, what's unique about creating these type of instruments and the way that you talk about them, the way that you, you talk about the sound and the feel and the emotions and, and the life in them, that's a very personal thing. So that's where yeah. it's, it's the artistry that comes to play, right? I don't know about artistry, it was a passion that I have a and it is, this is personal. Right. The mold is a plywood two-piece um, joined uh, piece of wood that I use to shape the fiddle. What are you doing now? Well, Carl, I want to show you uh, my one of the very first steps in uh, making a, a fiddle, besides what we did earlier with joining the top uh, plate, is um, working with the mold. The mold is a plywood two-piece um, joined uh, piece of wood that I use to shape the fiddle. And so these are the blocks. Okay. And there are corner blocks. Uh, a tail block and a neck block. And these blocks are going to be glued temporarily using high glue, hot high glue, to the mold. And then I'm going to um, draw the curves that I want on the blocks. Then I'm going to carve out uh, the wood around these curves. So now I have the, the basic shape of the violin of what it's going to be. And everything is built on the on the mold. But are you saying that every every fiddle, every violin has a unique shape to it? Yes, it, okay. yeah, very subtle. For some reason, I don't know why, but I want this one to have corners, the points or the corners that don't extend out too far. When you set to make a violin a fiddle, how often do you know who it's go being made for? Never. Really? <laughs> Uh, nice. But I try to, when I make a violin, I try to um, make them where it's going to be my violin. And the next thing uh, we're going to do is these are called the ribs. Okay. The ribs are going to be bent and shaped to the mold and glued only to the corner, uh, to the tail blocks and the neck block and the corner blocks. And so because eventually this, this mold is not part of the violin, this is going to be broken out. And so this is the rib bender. And I'm going to show you how we bend it. I'm going to have you try it. Oh, great. Super. Just spritz that to see okay. if it's ready. And see the steam that's coming out? Oh, yeah, yeah. We use this, this belt, this leather belt. I'm going to take the spritzer, okay. and I spritz the belt, and I spritz the wood. What you do is you hold on to the belt. You can hear it sizzle. You hear it sizzle. I do. It takes patience. And so here you have. Look at that. So I'm gonna have you try it. Okay. So I'll spritz it for you. Am Three. I doing the am I doing the lower bow? Or? Yeah. So, okay. so you don't have to bend it quite as much. As you're doing this, you've got to be really careful not to touch, not to right. touch it. Because it's gonna be hot. Because it's gonna be hot. Okay. You're gonna take take this. So hold it. Okay, great. So we'll start right there as That's far it. as the... That's it. Right. And you don't have to take it too far down. You, you don't need to bend it a whole lot. So yeah. give it a little more patience, a little more. Just hold it a little longer. You need to lift it up? No, you just uh, keep it right there. Okay. And I'll just push right over it. Okay. Carl, you got the hands of a violin maker. Let me tell you what. Am I making a fiddle or a violin maker? Depends how much you sell it for. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll probably do some I'll trade, and I'll trade a fiddle for a goat. Then, then it's a then it's a, a fiddle for a goat. A fiddle Is that what you said? <laughs> well, I heard of goats. How about that? You've been in Caldwell County too long. Bro. <laughs> goats are nice. Trade a fiddle for a goat. 
you know, uh, you can feel it, you can smell it, and when it relaxes, then you kind yeah. of can, can move but, over Yeah, you can bit. hear it, and you can smell it, and you can feel it. Yeah. And you can see it. Let's see how you did. All right. Here we Look come. at here now. Oh, Look at that. Aren't you something? Look at that. That's the beginning, right? That's really good. That would the actually... End. And so it, this is roughly kind of the shape that you would want it to be. Yes. When you're making these instruments, yeah. is it medicine for you? Oh, yeah. People, a common question people ask me is, how long does it take is the first question. Mm -hmm. Four weeks, six weeks, depending on how fast I go. Because it is therapeutic. It's this, the, this bench is my world. It's the only place in my world where I have total control over what happens, mm -hmm. good and bad. But I have control over yeah. everything I do. Tell me about the fiddle that uh, you made for Josh Goforth. Um, that fiddle is named An Anya. Josh has had it for about um, eight years, maybe? Five years, eight years, something like that. And uh, I'm just thrilled that it's his number one, that's the fiddle he likes to play. So when you, when you see him on stage playing, and you know that Anya came from your shop, yeah. you know that that sound, the uniqueness of it, the color, the texture, that while Josh is playing it, you, you know that you created that, uh, that instrument. It, it is, it's a really nice feeling. However, Josh is, is like Patty, like Patrick. They can make a, a cardboard box sound good. <laughs> right. So how long did it take you to, to make your perfect fiddle? I don't know yet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so you made it. It's in his closet. So you're on that journey of creating. I'm still on the journey. I mean, people right. have, have been told by certain people, this is fiddle my dream. Oh, I love this fiddle. I don't think so. Well, perfect for the person they've gone home with. They're not quite up to your level of perfection. None of them have been yet, no. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe mm. it doesn't exist in this dimension, in this world. That's the only reason I make them. It's for me. Right. Because if it is the perfect fiddle, it is gonna be my fiddle and I'm done. So as soon as you get your perfect fiddle made, then, then that's it. I'm done. Along the way, I've met so many great people. Uh, making fiddles, and I've uh, been to so many places I wouldn't have ordinarily been to. Uh, just the experience, life experience of doing this. So it really has been a journey for you. Yeah, it's way more than just the instrument and, and the fiddle. It's just the whole world. Yeah. You know. So wood and string have opened up the world to you. Yeah, a world I would have never known. That's a nice thing, Bob. I, I, I'll probably do some I'll trade, and I'll try to. Fiddle for a goat. Then it's a fiddle for a goat. Fiddle Is that what you said? <laughs>